If you're watching this video, it's because you are awesome, and you're about to learn something that makes you even more awesome. This is another video about the AOD and the 4R70Ws. You may have seen some of my other videos on this unit. This is to help you with interchanging and finding the right reverse piston for the reverse input drum, which is the first drum you come to after you pull the pump out and it's got the sprag on the top of it. We'll do a different video on the drum and the differences in the drums. If you want me to, put a comment below. I don't know if, how well you can see, but there's the casting numbers right here on these two different pistons. And from a distance, it doesn't look like there's anything different about these pistons. Looks like you can, you can interchange them. And indeed, they will fit down in the drums. They'll fit down in the different drums. They are not dummy proof. But if you're swapping them out, you'll find that either your clearance is too loose or you don't have enough clearance at all. The reason is, is because this one here cast EOAP, that's your AOD piston. And these come later for the AODEs, the 4R70Ws, and later even the 4R75Ws. These are from 80 to 93. There's a little bit of overlap because these are 92 and later. There may be a third piston for the 4R75Ws, 2004 and later. But I don't have an example of that. If you have one of those, an example of one of those, and you've got a casting number, that you can put in the comments below that will probably be helpful to everyone watching this video. 1980-1993, right here. EOAZ is the part number. EOAP is the casting number. Now, well then that's just the first part of the part number. As you, If you're familiar with Ford part numbers, you'll know that's the first part of the part number. And EO meaning it was cast in 1980. This one is a little bit thinner or shorter, depending on how you want to think about it. And it is right here that it's thinner and shorter from the table to right here. Which means when you put the ring in here, your bottom plate is going to be able to be a little bit lower. Therefore, your whole stack is going to be a little bit lower. Now, the later, 92 and later, E9SP is the casting number. F2TZ is the part number. And there's the last part of the part, 7D402A, which will also be the same last part of the part number for uh, these EOAPs, the 80s and through 93s. Now, 92 and later is when this is used. And it's a little bit thicker and a little bit taller right here. And, of course, that's going to push your whole stack up. Now, here it's not really any different. Here and here it's not really any different. And there's not a lot of failure in these. What usually happens when you need to replace this is the Belleville spring that sits above this, that touches this ring here, the Belleville spring will break. And you need to be buying a brand new Belleville spring every time you build one of these units and replace the Belleville spring because they do break a lot. And then the broken pieces will rub on here and damage your piston. So if you're replacing a piston, one of these reverse pistons, you've probably already got a bad Belleville spring right now, and that's why you're replacing it. Or if you're swapping drums or anything like that, you need to know this information because if your drum is bad, you're looking through drums. But we need to do a whole other video on drums if that's your problem. So make sure you comment below if you've got a problem with the drum, you want to know about interchangeability in drums, or you want to ID the drums. That'll take a whole other video in and of itself. The other thing that could cause you to need to replace this is, you see the little check ball, little check ball? If you look and your check ball has come out, now I've seen guys put the check ball back in because it usually gets trapped between here and the drum. And so they get it and they put it back in there and they'll stake it right here again. I don't recommend that because if it's come out once, uh, staking it's not a guarantee that it's gonna stay in there. You don't want your whole unit to fail just because of this. <laughs> Yeah, I recommend replacing it if, you're, if, you're, if the ball comes out. Now, one other thing is, if this gets dropped off the table and lands on your concrete floor in the shop, this edge right here gets the least bit of dent. I've seen guys try to take a flat file and try to flat file the mushroom out so that this can come up and seal again. 
don't do that. That's it's very highly likely that it's going to leak and burn your reverse clutches once this is dented anywhere. So look around here at this lip everywhere and see if there's any little dent right here where somebody's dropped it or if you drop it, it gets a little bit of a dent right there and that aluminum, it will mushroom out. It'll push that seal like that and it'll leak on either side of the dent. So just replace it. And always replace the bell bell spring that sits on top of this. All right, good luck with your project. Till the next video, get off the couch and get dirty. Put an affiliate link in the description to the Belleville spring and to the piston. Please do all repairs at your own risk. If you don't want to be burnt, bruised, or bleeding and you don't want to screw things up, the only safe way to do your repairs is to just pay somebody else to do it. Welcome to St. Auto. We're so glad you're here. We don't just do repairs and tool reviews. Bienvenida a St. Auto. Nosotros no solamente hacemos reparaciones de autos. We also film hot rods and mod rods, project cars, classic cars, antiques. Nosotros también filmea autos antiguos, mod rods, hot rods, cualquiera. We also like to take you with us to the car shows and the cruise ends. So make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. Me la gustaría llevarte con nosotros a los cruisings y car shows. Entonces, empuja ese botón y toca la campaña para que no pierda nada. Thank you for watching our videos. Many of the events, shows, and people that we feature support much needed charities. Bastante de eventos que nosotros filmea soporta caridad. Please take a child or a friend to one of these events and make sure that they're aware of all the good works that the great people of the car community do. Por favor, lleva un niño o un amigo a los eventos para que sepa de buenos trabajos que hacen los coordinadores de evento. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.